listening to such inspirational stories, it actually uh, makes me very comfortable that even if I fail to inspire you, you will still be okay. I am not sure about the internet audience though, but let's hope that uh, they will be fine as well. So briefly, uh, they have already introduced me, I'll just tell that uh, I graduated from Lambs in 2006, was a finance major, worked uh, in a hedge fund, then worked in New York and uh, started up for a few years. I uh, was involved in a startup as well, co-founded a firm that became actually successful, but then I think the curiosity and the inspirational part was not uh, complete. So I joined the civil services of Pakistan in Pakistan Administrative Service and it's almost nine years now. And uh, I, I wanted to tell you all about, it's actually very interesting because I did not know that it is TEDx and uh, I was told last night that you have to go here and uh, you know in government we go to various institutions and there were speeches so I thought that it's going to be a normal speech where either there would be students or you know there would be some other stakeholders there but only two three hours back I found out that this is actually real TEDx and uh, during that a friend of mine called me and he asked me that where you are going. And I told him it's it's a TEDx event, and uh, so he told me that I was telling him about the topic that is about waste management, and only then I figured out that, and I realized that he told me that I have to tell my own personal inspirational story if I have to be successful. But uh, but I think it, it was very it was very interesting that uh, then I started thinking that you know I'm now working in waste management. How do I make it more inspirational? How do I inspire people by waste? But uh, I have few stories, so I'll, I'll just tell them. Hopefully, they will inspire you. So, uh, I think in the in the government service, if we look at the whole society, or if we look at the foundations of the knowledge, this all is built upon upon curiosity, upon innovation. The foundations of innovation are all. Uh, our, our ability to learn, our ability to uh, progress, and all these things uh, globally. If, if we look at the earlier centuries, it was just about you know who it was about the survival of the fittest, and you know man in humans who had the best food, and then it became the capital, and then the, every the progress and the development was centered about around the capital part. But this century, if we come to this century, it's a very different story and everything, the whole progress is related to innovation, it's related to the knowledge economy, it's related to how the nation and how the youth and how the people in the nation are progressing, acquiring knowledge and trying to differentiate themselves as well. But if, uh, so when, when I discuss with my friends the challenges of Pakistan, I think all my friends know that I always keep saying that there are around 100 million to 140 million people in Pakistan, depending on what age bracket you choose, who need to be inspired and who need to acquire some kind of skill so that they become positive uh, human resource for, for this country as well. So it's uh, uh, in 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 that in that part we we uh, you know I think stories from all aspects of of Pakistan are very important that we tell our youth that how they can become successful in life, how they can acquire the right kind of skill as well. Uh, in now, now coming to the waste management part, uh, before that I'll, I'll, I'll tell that uh, I was, uh, when I was elected in the service, I worked in the government of Delhi Balistan first, first as assistant commissioner, then as ADC, then I was deputy commissioner Kunda. So even then I tried to, my focus always was that do something new, try to come up with a new solution, so when I was DC Hunda, I remember that after talking to a lot of stakeholders and my seniors and the government, I realized that my job here, the key job should also be how to promote the tourism here and how, you know, because it's a tourist district, more than a million tourists from, from all across the globe visit Hunda every year. So we were able to conduct massive events there, international events, Pakistan's first paragliding event attended by more than 70 countries, world's highest cycle race, then many musical concerts on the borders in Atabad Lake as well. So we should always be even in, even in the civil service. Generally, there is a lot of tendency. Uh, a lot of people think that in the civil services or when it comes to the government, 
you have to maintain the status quo and you know it's it's not about innovation but if you look at the modern governments globally and even in, i think in pakistan as well now that the government has also adopted this and they have realized that innovation is the key and it is only innovation in the processes in how the governance is done that will uh, lead to better society in in pakistan or anywhere in the world as well so this this concept of uh, uh doing some kind of innovation has always been there currently i've just joined waste management company one month back and during this one month my whole focus has been on how we can innovate this is a company that was formed on the basis of innovation this was an innovation in the public service arena that all across pakistan in all of punjab the waste management is done by by the municipality that we are so you know either the deputy commissioner concerned or the uh administrate or the mayor is responsible for doing ensuring the cleanliness in the city but there was innovation and a company was formed to make sure that lahore can be clean properly as well and then interaction contractors came and through all that we were able to learn this whole process and for the last two years all the, all the cleanliness has been is being done by the company on its own by its own resources so the whole learning curve has been there and uh, uh, a lot of processes have already been in, in place so we do we collect around 6000 tons of waste every day from all across the or but the management part is still a lot of innovation is required there so in last one month we have met with various stakeholders companies that are interested in generating electricity companies that are interested in generating fuel from the waste and uh, all this process led us to understand that this is not possible unless we initiate that segregation part in the waste as well so again trying to innovate trying to make the awareness part we have to tell the whole of lahore that when you put your litter out of you have to do the segregation as well it will be a huge challenge will again require a lot of innovation and a lot of inspirational stories i think would be required from everyone to inspire people that this is a serious challenge this is creating a big climate hazard and we all have to ensure that the segregation part is there so our team is also working hard to ensure that uh, awareness can be made to ensure uh, the uh, to separate the waste as well so uh, hopefully you know uh, in uh, in in next in some next event we will be able to uh, tell you that whether we have been able to successfully innovate in in our processes or not but uh, other than that even innovation to an extent that uh, uh, in 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 our company we have around 1200 vehicles so just to the extent that we are we are we have reached a stage that we are now applying artificial intelligence in optimizing the routes of the vehicles as well so the vehicles are currently run on a pretty much fixed system few or random as well and uh, but now we are involving consultants data management is being done to ensure that uh, the route optimization is done and initial estimates tell us that hundreds of thousands of liters of fuel annually could be saved from this so all these uh, are still under process and uh, hopefully the next time we meet we will be able to share with you how uh, we have been able to successfully or uh, innovate or we have uh, you know what are the things that we still lack So till then uh, best of luck to everyone thank you very much